What's up, Baller Nation? Augie Johnson here with BallerBootCamp.com. And in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a whole bunch of different basketball shooting drills to help you guys perfect your form. But before we get into it, make sure you guys crush that like button. Let's get this video to a thousand likes. And if you're new here, click that subscribe button. Now let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so for the first drill, we're gonna do what I call one, two, three shooting. Okay, this is a one-handed form shooting drill. Okay, so we're only gonna use one hand, working on getting our elbow in. And a thing that I really see a lot of players struggle with, especially young ones, is that they, can, they don't even have the ability to hold the ball like this. So when we're doing our form shooting, we wanna shoot from this position, right? And a lot of players, they can't even hold the ball there, whether it's because they're used to shooting with their elbow out, and so when they go to try to hold the ball, it's rolling off or whatever the case might be with whatever kind of glitches they have in their shooting form. So the first thing I always wanna see players do, even before we take a shot, is I'll just tell them, hey, hold the ball like this. I wanna see you hold the ball because I wanna see this, this, basically this letter C right here, okay, this 90 degree angle, and then from there, once I see that they can do that, then we get into this one, two, three shooting, okay, which we're gonna start with the ball here and go one, two, and three. Now, you might be wondering, why do we start with the ball here? And that's basically just to simulate, get a catch here. We need to rotate, get up into our shot. Okay, so one more time, we're gonna start here and go one, two, three, and shoot. And what we like to do is make 10 from this spot, okay? We're gonna make 10 from the, from the other baseline spot and make 10 from the spot right basically where the camera is, where you're looking right now. And also, another thing you wanna make sure that players don't do, and a lot of them do this in the form shooting, is they'll get the ball here and they'll throw it like this, okay? You want the ball out in front here just like we're taking a shot here, and you don't want to be cranking it from here. You'll see that a lot. Players will crank it and try to shoot like that. So when it comes to form shooting, there's a whole bunch of different things you can really focus on. So what we're working on here is getting a ball from a catch or whatever, getting it into our set point and getting up into our shot. Also, we're working on using our legs, okay? We don't want to just be standing straight up. We want to use our legs, have the one motion shot so that we can be efficient with our shot. And that also is a big part of shooting form. Also. Another thing you can focus on is just the release point, okay? So I can hold the ball up here and do form shooting here and then just go down and up. And really I'm just working on that last little bit of flick, okay? So I'm already holding the ball up here. I'm not, I don't have it down here, it's up here. And all I'm doing is working on this, this last little bit. Here's what it looks like this way, down and up, switch. Like I said, we're working on getting that one motion, that efficient shot. People ask me all the time, how to extend your range, and really, it's all about mechanics, okay? It's all about being able to transfer that energy from down to up and through the ball into the hoop, okay? So, all right, let's go ahead and get into a different uh, form shooting drill. Okay, now, I don't want you to think that you have to do all your form shooting with one hand. It's also great to do it with a guide hand, okay? So, another way that you can do your form shooting is you can put a guide hand on it, okay? Same thing, start, you can start with it at your set point, or you can start with it lower. Normally I like to start with it higher at my set point to eliminate all these variables, okay? That's another thing. When you catch and shoot the ball, there's a whole bunch of different variables. If you catch the ball over here, that's gonna affect your shot, right? So that means you need to get it, boom, right here into your shot pocket before you go up because you don't want any variables in here that's not gonna have, allow you to have a straight shot line. It's really important to have a straight shot line so that I go up into my shot. So anyways, for this one, we're just gonna put two hands on it. We're gonna start right at our set point here, down, up, shoot, we're going for swishes, okay? Same thing, you can go 10, 10, and 10, or what I like to do a lot of times is just go like around the arc, okay? So staying in close here, down, up, no jumping. Hopefully you have a rebounder. If you have a rebounder, they can just kick it right back out to you. Take a step over, down and up, get the rebound, take a step over, and just move around the arc here inside and work on that form, work on that touch, try to get swishes. Another mistake players make when doing form shooting is they shoot the ball without any arc and it kind of defeats the purpose. We want arc, even though we're close, we want arc because we want to simulate us shooting from, from range, okay, shooting from three or whatever. So all right, that's another little basic one. Let's get into another one. Okay, so this form shooting drill is a great one to do. You need a partner pretty much to do this drill. And now we're gonna incorporate footwork. We're gonna work on our one-two step. And a big mistake that a lot of players make is when they shoot their one-two step, they'll have this left foot planted so that when they, when they get their catch, they'll just have one step into their shot. Now, we want two steps, one, two. So we wanna make sure that we're always, when the ball is in the air, we're stepping with this left foot. When we catch it, we're, then we're stepping with the right foot. That way we're able to A, build some rhythm, and B, get enough power and enough uh, momentum basically to get our shot up and in, okay? So for this drill, we're gonna rock back, okay? And I'm gonna lift this leg after you, rock back, catch left, right into my shot, 
and I'm gonna have a rebounder here. All right, so here's what it looks like. Rock back, left, right, into my shot. Okay, get the rebound, it's coming. Rock back, left, right, into my shot. That's another quick little one that you can do. Same thing, you can choose however many reps and from wherever you wanna do it. So let's go ahead and get right into the next one. Okay, so another drill that you should be doing and working on your form is spot up shooting. Okay, so sometimes you just wanna do spot up shooting to get your shots in, not really stressing about your form, just working on your touch, just trying to make shots. But other times you wanna go and get maybe 50 or 25 spot up shooting shots, focusing 100% on your form, okay? Focusing, if you have a, maybe a low release, then you wanna spend those 50 shots working on getting your release up, okay? And what that's gonna do is it's gonna help, you're gonna miss more shots, right, when you do that. Anytime you're making a tweak to your shot, you're gonna miss more shots, but hopefully if you do that consistently that you'll be able to make a small tweak to your shot that's gonna give you big returns as far as making more shots in the future or being able to get off your shot quicker or whatever the case might be. So, spot up shooting, okay? Everyone knows what it is, right? You need a rebounder, he's gonna pass it to you, you're gonna catch left, right, or hop into it, boom, whatever you prefer, <clears throat> and work on that form, okay? Spend time doing spot up shooting, working specifically on your form. I think that's important. So that's it for this one. Let's go ahead and get into the next drill. Okay, so for this next drill, this is one that's pretty interesting, I think, in my opinion. But this is one that um, if you're a two motion shooter or you have a glitch in your shot and you wanna change that, what I mean by glitch is when you go up, you kind of have a hitch in your shot or you have a late release. Yeah, I go up and then I shoot the ball late. So here, I'll just show you what one rep looks like. And I personally have a little bit of this in my own shot. For example, this is what I mean. You go up and then you shoot the ball late. Okay, and you shoot the ball late like that. If you wanna work on that, here's a drill that you can do. And I don't know what it is that makes it so that you can't do that. You can't have that, that two motion shot when you do this. And it's basically, I call it drop shooting. And you're just gonna drop down, touch the ball to the ground, go up into, in, into a shot. If you have a rebounder, they can, and I used to do this one in college, they can roll the ball to you. So if someone rolls the ball to me, I'm gonna have to pick it up off the ground. It's the same thing. But basically, I'll show you what it looks like here, full speed. Like I said, it's really hard to make shots doing that. It's just like in the game, if you get a low pass and you gotta shoot a three or something, it's really hard to put that in. The reason for that is because when you shoot the basketball, you go down and then you go up. And when you catch the ball low, you can't go down. And maybe that's part of the reason that you can't have a two motion shot or a glitch in your shot when you touch the ball to the ground and then go up because of that reason. You're not going down then up, you're already down. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into the next drill. Okay, for this drill, you're gonna need a chair, obviously. And what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna eliminate the lower body, okay? We're just gonna use our upper body to shoot this shot, focusing on flick of the wrist, holding our follow through, getting the ball up and over the rim, okay? This is a great one to work in your arc because you're shooting the ball from so low, you need arc to get it in there. Also, this is a good one to help extend your range a little bit. Okay, so you kind of get the idea. Here's what it looks like. Okay, you're gonna catch the ball, you're gonna have the ball here. It's best if you have a rebounder. I'm gonna have to get up and get my own rebound. You're gonna shoot it up and in. Okay, get your own rebound. Sit back down. Here we go. Remember, we're working on our form, so I wanna keep that ball in my set point. I can dip it a little bit, working on this hinge here. Okay, this is a really important hinge in your shot, is this shoulder, because you're gonna have to bring the ball from here and that's part of the power. As soon as your hips, when you shoot the ball, as soon as your hips are going up, the shoulder is rotating with that hip. Okay, so here we go. Start here, we're gonna work on, on this hinge here and getting that ball up and in. Okay, remember, we're shooting for swishes. Try to get arc on this. All right, so for this next one, remember, we don't wanna go in the gym and do every single one of these drills, right? Pick one or two maybe that you can start your shooting workout out with to get your form shooting in and you can switch it from day to day or whatever. Whatever kind of thing you need to work on, choose that drill and work on that drill. Now this drill here is great because we're gonna work on changing distances, okay? So that's a big problem, right? I can make shots from here, but as soon as I step back to here, it's harder for me to make shots. And especially in the games when you don't get to just shoot 50 shots from one spot or from one distance. You might shoot a mid-ranger, then you might shoot a three, then you might shoot a short corner shot. Uh, it's different every time in the game. You need to be able to adjust on the fly and be able to make shots from different distances. So the way this game works is you're gonna, if you make two in a row, okay, so let's just say I shoot two, one, and that's two, I'll take a step back, okay? So take one step, big step back. Now I shoot one and two, let's say I make, that's two right there, let's just say, okay? Then I get to take another step back. Now if I miss two in a row, so let's say I'm still here, 
and I, I shoot, I miss, okay? And now I miss again, two misses in a row, I gotta take a step in. Okay, so the goal is make two in a row without missing two in a row, and you wanna work your way all the way back to three-point land and beyond if you can. Now, it's gonna be really hard, I think, for some players to make two NBA threes in a row before they miss two NBA threes in a row, but I've seen college guys get way back there all the way to volleyball line because they're able to not miss two shots in a row. If you think about it, you don't really have to shoot a crazy good percentage to move all the way back there, but you do have to be a consistent shooter and be able to correct your shot. That's another big thing in basketball. Some days you're gonna be missing short. Some days the rim's gonna feel a little taller. It's gonna feel, some days you're gonna miss long. Some days the rim's gonna feel a little shorter. So you gotta be able to correct your shot and calibrate your shot um, to whatever day it is basically. Now, normally it's gonna be the same every time, but some days, whether it's your energy level's low, or you're, you know, you got a sore ankle, or even just playing on different rims, right, in different gyms, it feels different. Different size arenas, it feels different. You need to be able to calibrate and adjust a little bit on the fly to make more shots. So, all right, I think you guys get the idea of this drill. Remember, make two, step back, and this is a great one to do with a partner to compete against them. And you can do this from all five spots, okay? You can do this from the baseline, the wing, you can do it from the elbow, you can do it from the top straight on, and, and of course the other side as well, so. All right guys, I hope you guys liked that video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. We're trying to get a thousand likes on this video. Also, if you're new, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what other kind of videos you wanna see, and also, most importantly, head over to ballerbootcamp.com. Head over there, I got a free workout for you that you can download, print out, take to the gym, and follow to take your game to the next level. So you can click the first link in the description if you're on mobile, or you can click the link that's on the screen right now, and I'll see you guys inside that workout.